Well, hello and welcome to Pastor Capture. I am Ivy Smith and this is Pastor Steve Stoltz Costello and Pastor Tammy Palermo here with us. Um, we're just reviewing our past week here at Mentor and then the week ahead just so um, we can kind of just recap on, you know, the good time that we have here at Mentor. Want to say first and foremost at 1010 and at 1210, you're able to listen to for the three weeks this Sunday just passed next week and then the week following our children's book story in our library so yes. make sure you do that because um, you have a good time um, you can certainly find these books and look at them um, listen to them read them to each other or however you do it but make sure you have the opportunity to come um, 10 10 and 12 10 and so this past week um, this past week Pastor Steve was in the uh, modern service uh, Pastor Tammy yeah. was with our young people and our children, and I was in traditional. Yeah. And um, how did you feel about the modern service? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, uh, I thought the modern service went well. You know, we had uh, Charlie Tackett, who was singing in the, in the praise team for the first yeah, time. And he had uh, a piece that he was a lead on, did a great job. So go back and watch that. Uh, our, our staple ones that are in the band, uh, Laura Dixon and, uh, and Charlie's mom, Jill, Jill Tackett. Jill is such a rock star so, she's out there I'm so like we had all of that so that was fun that was great it was our first God. Sunday first Sunday in the fellowship hall renovated yeah. for worship like that was and so new chairs new carpet and uh, so comfortable when they did the lights you know I was surprised I was looking to see if people were falling asleep and, <laughs> You know. Yeah, they're cushioning. Uh, they're yeah, cushioning. Yeah, yeah. They're nice. Very nice. But, you know, uh, we did this uh, Old Turtle was the inspiration. And, you know, Genesis and then also Exodus. And um, the story, again, I loved in your sermon, Ivy, you quoted, um, who's a theologian? Oh, Gardner Taylor. Gardner Taylor. The great late bro, Gardner who, Taylor. Who, Pastor Ivy, actually, you had a class with him or something? You studied him? He was a visiting professor okay, at different times. Okay. But you quoted him, and I'm going to try to quote it, said, uh, you should be able to find God in everything. In everything. And you should be able to preach, if you're going to be a preacher, from anything. From anything. Oh. Including the and phone book. He was, he was, it was always said if Gardner Taylor was yeah. given a phone book, he That's could right. preach. Yeah. You know, from that. And know. for Kenna, <laughs> and anybody under 25, a phone book is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> a uh, look book. on a traditional service to find out the definition of a phone book yeah. <laughs> for our young people. Um, but, you know, the point is that, uh, yes, we're using children's stories. Some people might say, you know, I thought we preached from the Bible. We do preach from the Bible always. But, uh, Sometimes it's a wonderful way to get connected and to hear it in fresh, uh, fresh uh, ears. The way it's told, this is a beautiful way it's told. Well, I even threw Marvin Gaye in there. So you threw some I mean, Marvin Gaye. we did so children's books. That's it. <laughs> the that's Genesis, it. Exodus, and uh, the late Marvin yeah. Gaye. So there's your homework assignment. Look for God in everything. Yeah. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Anything to get the point. To get yeah. the point to us. I I focus. I, I was trying to find a way to get creative there, and I went back to this old parable. I don't know who wrote it about the elephant and oh, some yes. people had the Where, yes you oh yeah different people so if we were all to be around an elephant blindfolded yeah. we would yeah. each have a different perspective right but uh, right, when you're uh -huh. filling the trunk and somebody's yep. filling the tail and yep. someone's filling yeah. the tusk, all of that. Yeah, but if I had a little star sticker, I'd give it to you. I, <laughs> that's a little segue, right? A little for, um, uh -huh. Because I like what you did in focusing on how God is specifically what we need God to be. Mm -hmm. You know, and you went all through things. this whole litany, first starting out with animals. You know, the giraffe wants God to be up high and the mouse wants the God to be down low. Mm -hmm. and, you know, but then you went into the people. And, and I can't recite that, but you talked about it for yeah. for. God is there to feed us. God is all things to to all things. Yeah. So to yeah. the sick, God is the medicine. It's good. You know, that doctor, that, you know, sick bed, whatever. Yeah. To those who are depressed, he's the joy. And That's to good. those who are outside and feeling like they're incarcerated or in bondage, he is the freedom. That's it. Yeah. It was a wonderful, uh, just a wonderful rolling right off your tongue litany of all these things. And, you know, I, I am a firm believer that a little piece of good things theology can go a long way oh, to yeah. really uh, deepen and strengthen your life. So that was a good piece of theology. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So I liked in your service how how you were able to put those questions right up there for them. Who is okay. God? Um, who is God? Who are we? What is our purpose? Mm. You know, what is God like? Mm. And everybody's description is different. Yeah. 
yeah. no two people will say God is like, we will all agree, so, probably, yeah. mm -hmm. but your description of God, yours, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. it will all be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And still be correct. Yeah. Still be correct. <laughs> yeah. I, um, in the time between the services in the gallery, I was talking with one of the kids. I came, I think it might have been one of the party boys, uh, but they had their little clay yes, pots. Yes, so. clay pots. Uh huh. So um, they seem to have a really great time with that. Um, there's some photos um, from yeah, that experience. Yeah. He was all excited. He said, Yeah, you're going to, he said, it's going <laughs> to put some incense or something in there and make it. Uh, Nice. I don't know. It was really, really great, cool. Great, great, great. So, yes. Again, Mitch and Katie, they do a great job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this Sunday, Ivy, what's going on? This Sunday is Stanley's oh, talking. I'm thinking third grade I'm Bibles. Preaching? Oh. Third grade right. Bibles are coming up, yes, too. Yes, we have some third graders going to receive right. their Bibles on Sunday during worship. So exciting. Ah, Tammy will be preaching. Uh -huh. At the traditional, and I'll be back in the modern. Mm -hmm. And our book uh, ties well with our third grade message. It really does. I've been pondering that as I'm prepping as you are, you special. are special. And I think it also works well with going back to school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yes. some really good yes. points yes. To, to teach folks to remind our children yeah. that the only the only person that really counts to say anything about them is their creator. Yeah. Right. So, so this is a book by Max Licato, and some of you may have heard of it. You are special. It just I think it pr presents a wonderful contrast. I mean, all of us will relate to how in our day to day lives and how what we see going on in the world is so much about earning stars mm -hmm. or getting beat down with these little gray dots. That's the metaphor in there. People give each other star stickers or dots and that just starts to weigh us down. Uh, but what really matters is our maker. And mm -hmm. so yeah. uh, the lead character here goes and meets the wood the wood carver that makes all these little characters mm -hmm. and says, this is what I say is what matters. So yep. All right. yep. it's a good message. And what I'm realizing is that this whole series keeps coming back to this deeper understanding of who we are as God's creatures, mm -hmm. created mm -hmm. by God, loved by God, special. So, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that. And where, where are you going to be this this Sunday, I? This Sunday I'll be in Stockbridge, Georgia. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Stockbridge, Georgia, at Red Oak United Methodist. Church. Is that right? Well, send them, uh, send yes. them, send them greetings from us. I sure will. And uh, sure have will. them pray for us as well. <laughs> so, um, you know, we don't we don't use the pastor capture for announcements. However, there's sometimes where it's a worthy exception, and that is for things that are coming up this week. We got uh, a big thing going on Saturday. Talk about that. Back to school bash in the parking lot. We've got mm -hmm. an uh, inflatable obstacle course, a bounce house. Um, there'll be popcorn, uh, pelican snowballs are coming, um, and a dunk tank. tank. I was waiting for it. The, the dunk, dunk tank. tank. Yeah, she was waiting for it. That's yeah, why she's, she's out of town. She's not going to be here. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let's dunk it right now. <laughs> 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 I should have bought a glass of water. Oh, I that would have oh. really get me early. Huh? Uh, so, yes, <laughs> you want to come by one, between 1 and 3, and at 2 o'clock, we're going to encourage everyone to bring their backpacks, and we're going to do a blessing of the backpacks backpacks at the back to school bash okay mm -hmm. you know uh, for you viewers out there i have no idea how long this video is we don't have kenna telling us <laughs> so but i'm Sorry. guessing it's about time to wrap up yes yes <laughs> Thank you for spending time with us. Uh, make sure that you like and subscribe and share this with all of your friends. Um, we love uh, being able to share about our week and the week ahead. Thank you for listening to us on Pastor Capture. Capture.